Magsaya natin ipagandang pagdating ng manunubos sa kapagligtas natin. Tuwirin mga landas, mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo ay darating. Masaya natin ipagandang pagdating ng manunubos sa kapagligtas natin. Tuwirin mga landas, mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo ay darating. Let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the Lord of peace, love, and hope be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, my dear sisters and brothers. Good evening, Father. Let us celebrate the third Sunday of Advent. We used to call this celebration Gaudete Sunday. Let us clap our hands as we praise the Lord. We cannot underestimate the value of the Word of God in this gathering, uniting us as a synodal church. Let us commit the joy that we need to give to each other. Tuwa at galak ng kalooban as well as in our ways of doing, ways of thinking. May we truly prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord. And to be worthy of this celebration, let us scrutinize our hearts, acknowledging our sinfulness and imperfections, and ask the Lord for forgiveness and empowerment. We humbly pray, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, you my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me, for me to, the to the Lord our God. Our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have pray O God who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity enable us we pray 
to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices with my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich He has sent away empty. He has come to the health of His servant Israel, for He has remembered His promise of mercy. My soul rejoices in my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not squash the spirit. Do not despise the prophetic utterance. Test everything. Retain what is good. Repain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to bring the tidings to the poor. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. A man named John was sent from God. 
He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through Him. He was not the light but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John when the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourselves? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah? Or the prophet, John answered them, I baptized with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal is strapped, I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. To you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are uh, celebrating our Novena Masses, which we used to call uh, Simbang Gabi at evening time. And at dawn, we used to call it Misa de Gallo. But the third Sunday of Advent is a very special day in a sense that we light the third candle that symbolizes the candle of the shepherds. And it is also the candle of joy. Let us clap our hands expressing that we are rejoicing in the Lord. Magalak! Matuwa at magalak ang bawat isa. Our celebration is an opportunity, a special event that will deepen and explain and more profoundly to the faithful. Our honest attempt to catechesis, to be in the service of evangelization, the meaning of the Lord's coming in the flesh and its vital implication for us. Dumarating ang Diyos minsan pa sa ating buhay at pagkakabuhay. Are we ready to welcome Him? Halfway of our celebration. Nasa kalagitnaan na po tayo. We have uh, started our Simbang Gabi and uh, the, tomorrow it will be 
our celebration of uh, the coming of the Lord on Christmas Day. We used to have the remote as well as immediate preparation for the coming of the Lord. May pangmatagalan. It took four weeks preparation. And we have makagyat na paghahanda with our novena masses, which we used to call uh, Simbang Gabi or Aguinaldo masses. Symbolic of the nine months of the child in the womb of our mother, Mama Mary. So as we affirm those truth, it is also affirming the truth of who we are. Tayo na mga anak ng Diyos, we are duty-bound to prepare ourselves As, and our preparation was facilitated by the prophets so we lighted the candle of the prophets symbol of hope last sunday second sunday we lighted the candle of bethlehem the place where the lord is born and it, this is the candle of bethlehem symbolic of uh, the place at sana naman po ay meron ding lugar sa ating pagkatao na iluluwal isisilang ang Diyos sa ating pagkatao so this is an invitation that uh, like Mary we accept the Lord in our lives Tumatanggi ba tayo sa iniaalok niyang pagdating sa ating buhay? Hindi po natin magagawang tanggihan siya. Sapagkat sabi natin, sin is the rejection of God. Sin is the absence of love. At kung talagang ang pag-ibig ay nasa sa ating pagkatao, magiging mabubuting tao tayo sa isa't isa. We dispel the darkness of sin and death. In our biblical reading, Elijah, the greatest prophet, was mentioned. The characteristic of Elijah is also the very characteristic of Saint John. Eight hundred years before the coming of the Lord, Elijah is the champion of the purity of faith in one and true God. Si Propeta Elias ang dakilang propeta na nag-aanyaya sa tao, manambahan sa iisa at tunay na Diyos. At huwag nating ipopropanate ang ating pagiging mananambahan sa Diyos sa Espiritu at katotohanan. Kaya kayo po, tayong lahat, bawat isa sa atin, maging totoo sa ating sarili, hindi plastic. Ngayong panahong ito, durong daming sekta ng relihiyon Napakaraming ideological persuasions. Sino doon ang nagtututo? Kahit ang ating kasaysayan gustong baluktutin. Historical revisionism. Pagkat nung panahon ni Propeta Elijah, ang first lady ni Haring Akas, ni Lason, ang isipan, puso at kamalayan ng mga tao upang sambahin ang Diyos-Diyosan na si Baal. Elijah depended the purity of faith on Mount Carmel versus the false prophets. 
Sana naman po kayo ay ang mga usap at pananalita, totoo at hindi kasinungalingan. Ito po ay prophetic voices na kita yung nagdidilang anghel at hindi nagdidilang demonyo. Hinahamon po tayo in consonance with the synodal church joining together, aiming at appreciative of the total mystery of our Lord Jesus Christ. Salbibic event to the liturgy of Advent, be sensitive and aware to the Christian calling to be true to our baptismal integrity and mission. Pagkat ikaw ay anak ng liwanag, hindi ka dapat namumuhay sa dilim at lagim ng kasalanan at kamatayan. Hindi ka promoter of death. The encumbrances of sin and death ay dapat po wala sa ating pagkatao. At ang tanging natatagpuan sa ating pagkatao ay ang presensya ng mapanligtas na pag-ibig ng Diyos. Liwanag sa mundo, yun po ang hamon sa atin, katulad ni St. John the Baptist. Ang kanyang pagpapahayag, pagbabago, mitanoya, conversion. Kaya tayo po, kung gusto nating maging maligaya at masaya, ang pamumuhay, lisanin ang dilim at lagim ng kasalanan at kabatayan. Mamuhay tayo sa kaliwanagan, totoo kang anak ng Diyos. True to our baptismal integrity and mission as sons and daughters of God. Pag napapangyari po natin ito, mapapangyari natin na talagang ang Diyos ay suma sa atin. Emmanuel, God is with us, God is for us. And we live in a life of happiness sapagkat nagtatagumpay ang biyaya at pagbabiyaya ng Diyos sa ating pagkatao. This is the mission of every family. If you are truly living a Christian life, isa sa buhay mo at palaging nasa sa kalooban mo ang isipan, ang niluloog at ang ginagawa ng Diyos sa atin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe Please, in stand. God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, He descended, he descended into, into hell. Dead. On, On the third day, he rose again from the dead. The dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, God the, Father, the Father Almighty. From, from there, there, he will come to judge the living, the living and, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Prayer of uh, the faithful. Come, let us pray together to our merciful God, the Father. Let us ask Him for the graces and blessings needed by our nation that is now preparing for the coming 
of the only Son and every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. May the believers recognize the power of the Catholic Church under the leadership of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, to preach and guide the nation in preparing for the coming of the Messiah. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear Lord. us. May the elected leaders of the countries use their right to lead their subjects in the righteous and peaceful path. Let us pray. Lord, hear us. May those of us who are going through different phases of sufferings find the power of God in the person of those who care for those who are suffering and in need. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. May the clans of our country unite, recognizing and submitting to the power of God through our obedience to His command to care for our neighbors. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. Let us also pray for all our uh, intentions as we come to the National Shrine of Santo Padre Pio, especially those commended for our prayers and intentions, the birthday celebrators and anniversary celebrators for this month of December, as well as those who are having devotion to the Simbang Gabi and uh, Misa de Gallo, the novena honoring the Blessed Virgin Mary, as well as the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For our community, Paris community, and uh, places where there are uh, wars, sickness, and uh, tragic events like earthquakes, fire, and all forms of violence. And we are uh, praying for peace, and as well as for those who are doing the relief and rehabilitation of those affected by this uh, incident. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord Jesus Christ, and wisdom coming forth from the mouth of the Most High, reaching from one end to the other, mightily and sweetly, ordering all things, come and teach us the way of prudence and perseveringly for the celebration of the solemnity of Christmas. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. all stand. The table of the Lord is now ready. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to your unceasingly to complete was what has begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplished for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To whom you have lifted up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sung of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, a son I Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son of the Lord. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you to for consecration, that they, they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At His command, we celebrate this mystery. For on this night, he was betrayed. He himself took the bread, giving thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of pain. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with His Holy Spirit may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. We may make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed Apostle and glorious martyrs, St. John the Baptist, St. John Maria Biade, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsod, and uh, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself or your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, the souls in purgatory, for Mary Ann, Florencia Domingo, Felicidad David, Edwin, and all our beloved dead, pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord to whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Baptized in water and Holy Spirit, we become God's children. And so we have the courage to sing the prayer of God's family. Thank you. 
from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace and advent evening blessings. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Take away the sins of the world Have mercy on us Lamb of God You take away the sins of the world Have us be who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Say to the pain of heart, be strong and do not fear. Behold, our God will come. He will save us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, my roof but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Sa 
second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietrel, China, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our, our health and, and our, our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless, bless and grace us, that our, our lives may be fulfilled. From, from sin, sin may we abstain, may we abstain. In, God in God may we, we remain. remain. We, we also beseech you, servant of the, the most holy, 
to instruct us in the gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansandambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Book na makikita sa paligid ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary, sa main church, sa main store, at iba pang lugar dito sa Pambansan Dambana. Ito po ay bilang bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng datos at turismong pangsimbahan. Ikatlo, para sa ating tuwirang paghahanda sa Kapaskuhan, ang oras po ng Misa de Gallo ay sa ikaapat at kalahati ng madalig araw at ang simbang gabi sa ikaliba ng hapon, maliban sa December 17, araw ng linggo, ito ay sa ikaanim ng gabi. Kayo pong lahat ay inaanyayang mag-alay ng mga dry goods tulad ng bigas, delata, noodles at iba pa na ating ipamamahagi sa mga nangangailangan nating kaparokya at mangyaring magabayan po tayo ng mga gawaing nakapost sa ating FB page. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Ang tumutulong sa atin ay ang Panginoon na may gawa ng langit at sandibutan. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagkapala at biyaya, ibuhos mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa panalangin mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, langis, religious articles and items na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoong Heso Kristo at ng mga banal magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nakakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoon Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria ay nanan Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Abaginong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Abaginong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. 
ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. I am Reverend Father Ulysses Santos Valenzuela Ribamonte from Marinduque, Diocese of Buak. I was sent by our Bishop Marcelino Antonio Maralit Jr., native of the Archdiocese of Lipa, to ask for your prayers, donations, and help for our diocesan project, Bahay Pari. Salamat po sa inyong mga donasyon, panalangin, pagmamahal at tulong. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and ask for God's blessings. May the Almighty and Merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ, Advent, and enrich you with His blessings. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with the devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of, of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit came down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Holy Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in all your ways. Thanks be to God. A meaningful Advent, joyful Christmas, and grace-filled New Year to everyone. Salamat po. Nagpupuri sa may kapat ang buong kaluban Dahil sa kadakilan ang ginawa niyang tanan Sa kanyang kapangyarihan Purihin, purihin natin ang Diyos Purin, purin, natin ang Diyos.